Look towards your left as we have our powered hand gliders moving in towards the parade ground. I present before you the spectacular demonstration by Air Devils Demonstration Team of the Indian Air Force. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, hold your hearts as you will witness breathtaking performances by the Air Devil team of powered hand gliders and paramotors guaranteed to raise your adrenaline. We have successfully inducted the first batch of Agniveers and subsequent batches, including women Agniveers, are presently undergoing basic training. The rigor of training has been increased across the board for all training curriculums with more emphasis on self-learning and self-education. In this year alone, Indian Air Force carried out eight exercises across the globe with friendly foreign countries and performed exceptionally well. For the first time, our indigenously built light combat helicopter uh, aircraft also participated in an overseas exercise, showcasing our professional acumen and enhancing our stature as a potent Air Force. Indian Air Force carried out extensive HADR operations in Turkey, Sudan and Syria, airlifting critical supplies and rescuing stranded Indian nationals. Within the country, we were actively involved in fighting forest fires and carrying out flood relief operations in many states. As first responders, we have always maintained a high state of alert and taken on all emerging situations. In my first address to the Indian Air Force two years ago, I spoke of what my expectations were from all air warriors so that the Air Force remained relevant and contemporary. In my address to you last year, I spoke of the requirement for transformation and how hybrid warfare and multi-domain operations highlight the need to redefine, reimagine, and recalibrate ourselves. This year, I would like to focus on my vision for the Indian Air Force, where we are, what we need to do to make that vision a reality. The theme for this year's Air Force Day is Indian Air Force, Air Power Beyond Boundaries. The theme aptly reflects the inherent global reach of air power and how air power will prove decisive in future conflicts.